Fumbled Anthology presents Something from Down There, a Call of Cthulhu scenario written by Kevin Ross. Starring Ben Ward as Ludwig von Braun. Liam Braid as Geraldine Fisher. And for the first time, Alex Green as the Keeper of Arcane Lore, and everyone else. Part 1, Down Darker Trails. Alright, without further ado, let's do it. So... Uh, you find yourselves in the fictional town of San Juan. Uh, the year is 1851. Uh, San Juan is a very small mining town uh, situated in that little nook between uh, the bottom of uh, New Mexico and the top of Mexico in Texas. Um, there's not really a whole lot about this town. It's sort of a, um, I guess, a throughway between some of the larger settlements further west, uh, such as the ones in California, uh, or uh, uh, El Paso, and I guess the town of San Rafael on the other side. So it's a, it's a throughway. it's used a lot by, uh, really the only people that sort of hang out in this town are miners who are working in the hills surrounding the town, as well as, I guess, you know, merchants traveling through in between the big cities, uh, just looking to stay the night. Uh, the occasional vagrant, occasional hobo looking for some work either uh, on the the farms that are not really doing too well and the mines uh, which are doing okay. Um, and that is where we find our travellers. Uh, we've got uh, one of them is currently staying at the Silver Saloon, which is the only saloon in town uh, because it's the Rootness Tootness Saloon in town. And that is where we find... Uh, our first hero, Geraldine Fisher. Geraldine, tell us about yourself. Uh, howdy there. Uh, name's Geraldine Fisher. Um, I'm 33. And, and I'm a banker from San Antonio. Um, you may be wondering why a, a gentleman in modern 1850s America has the name Geraldine. Well, uh, that, no one knows who my parents were. I, I was found abandoned as a baby, and there was a card... On, on me that said Geraldine Fisher and no one knew of a woman called Geraldine Fisher so they assumed it was my name that mystery about who my parents were and why I have the name Geraldine Fisher it really sparked a intense desire in me to seek out the truth I hate mysteries I hate lies so anytime there's something unusual or unknown I, I, I need to find out about it which gets me into trouble. See, I'm a bank manager at uh, Prescott and Sons Bank in San Antonio, um, and I noticed some discrepancies in in some of the uh, the accounting. And I did a little digging, and it turns out Prescott, Mr. Prescott, and his sons uh, are all involved in a fraudulent scheme, and they're also on side with the Johnson family, one of the most notorious gangs in the in the county. So. Fearing for my life, I fled, and I found myself in this small, dingy town. And uh, apparently, most people only stay overnight. But um, I, I don't really know what to do for, at this point. So I do, I do have a couple of other people I grew up with at the orphanage that have a ranch further west, but I don't really like them, so I don't really want to do that. Um, other than that. There's, there's a lovely lady at the saloon. She's caught my eye, so maybe I can stay here. But for now, I'm, I'm just trying to work out my next move. I, I carry my harmonica and fiddle on me, because I like to play a bit of music. And other than that, I've just got a few dollars and just an, an eye out for, for the Johnson family. So I've got a small revolver on me, but... I don't really know how to use it. Haven't had to use it much. Just biding my time. I'm just in the saloon, probably at the bar. 
that's me. All right, so Geraldine's at the bar. Uh, just are, are you sort of downing shots, looking forlorn? No, uh, uh, not not downing shots. Just 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 having a modest drink while I ponder my next move, and also keep an eye on that lovely lady. Sure. Okay, so uh, Geraldine Fisher's uh, sitting at the bar, uh, just sort of, I guess, people watching in a way. Uh, meanwhile, on the other end of town, uh, we hear, you know, it's where it's it's early morning, so uh, he's finally woken up, uh, and he drags himself out of bed. He lives in a shack on the the far end of the street. There's only one street in San Juan. Uh, tell us about uh, Doc Brown, Finn. My name's Doc Brown. I'm a I'm a doctor in a in this here town, and I'm a you know I'm a I'm a wandering doctor, and I'm, I just came here about a month ago, and I feel like I could maybe set up a set up a practice here. There's a little little bit of little bit of space. There's a there's a bit of bit of gold coming down these hills. I'm expecting many a miner, rowdy miner, to show up and you know need need a bit of medical assistance from time to time. I think I could probably make it work here. So I'm setting up shop. My name, I should probably stop it, is Doc Brown. Uh, but my birth name is Ludwig von Braun. I was born in Berlin in the early 1800s. And I uh, moved moved here as a baby. Uh, my parents brought me over. Long deceased now. God bless their souls and rest their souls too. I... Uh, I was I was a smart child and I became apprenticed at a young age to a to a doctor. My my my, my mentor, I just called him the doc. And uh, he he taught me everything I know until one day, tragically, he was caught in the crossfire when two cowboys were shooting it out down the down the main street. He suffered a terrible shot to the gut and he's and I, I tried I tried to apply my my knowledge my my surgical knowledge to him but it was it was not enough and he, he died and tragically I, uh, I, I messed up about it but I decided to redouble my efforts to become a doctor a, a, a quality doctor so that nothing like that could ever happen again um I, I'm tall. I'm extremely tall, six foot six. I'm barrel chested. I'm, I'm lanky. I'm, I got small arms, small legs, big chest, ugly face, disgusting face. I got, I got a big, I got a big, I got hit in the head with a with a rock as a boy, and it cracked my cracked my eyebrow and it's left me with a sort of sort of swollen shut kind of droopy droopy eye hit some ner- did some nerve damage um uh uh yeah ugly ugly man but I'm I'm smart and I'm good at my job and uh right. I'm gonna head up head up to the head up to the bar now and see if there's anyone who needs any attention for my services um so you've been in this town for about a month now, uh, and I guess, you, and you've, I guess, you've been a regular now at this bar. So the people there, they, they've sort of come to know you. Uh, I want to know what do they like you? Uh, give me a a charm or any any charm or persuade or anything to to, to let me know if the town think that you're All right. a valuable All right. member of their society or they think you're just a drain. Yeah, I'm an awful freak who <laughs> they hate to be around. I just keep yeah, get going. Yeah, you want me to roll charm? Yeah, charm or persuade or anything like okay. that. Okay, I've put a lot. I've put a lot in intimidate. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's fine. Weird. The town can be scared of you. That's fine. I don't I've care. Intimidate them. Because just... you're about to you're about to go to the bar. I just want to see how the locals react when you walk in. I rolled a ten. That was a hard success. Or intimidate. Uh, I. <laughs> Sure, it could have been for charm, but no. I said intimidate. Right. No, no, right, no, 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 no. Intimidate, right. intimidate. So the town, the town are like, there's like, okay, there's this weird guy that sort of set up shop on the end of town. We, he's kind of scary, but also like, no one wants to go near him. 
and he's not really hurting anyone, so he's like, okay. So when you walk into the silver saloon, um, the the people who are they're playing cards at the table and they're drinking, and they sort of see you walk in and they go, oh, what's that dark brown guy's coming in? Or oh, don't, don't look at him. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, one other detail. I always keep a scalpel on me. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a slightly paranoid man, you see. Yeah. You know? yeah, uh, like, yeah I've, I've, I've just always got it. Just... All right, so so you go as you go to the bar. What are you gonna do when you go into the bar, Brown, Doc Brown? Uh, what was they? <laughs> Nobody worry, the doctor's in town. Do a little, a uh, little, little, little joke, little entrance joke. Sure. Uh, and <laughs> Try, trying to show some charisma there. <laughs> yeah, really uh, trying, maybe failing. <laughs> and, okay. Uh, so okay, so you, you... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lean over to the the, the barman or whoever's there and go. He, he he comes in every day. Who who who's this guy? Oh, that's that's Doc that's Doc Brown. Uh, he we moved here about a month ago. We're talking about starting some medicine business. Uh, it all sounds like snake oil to me, but yeah, he's a he's a pretty intimidating fella. I don't think any of the guys wanna wanna start anything. So I'd just keep my head down if I were you. Yeah, Fisher. that sounds about right there, boy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh Miss Brown, uh, uh, you're usual today, sir. Yes, sir. Get me a shot of whiskey and a then a bump of cocaine. <laughs> Wait, no. How did they? How did they sell cocaine? In is it like a tonic or something? Wasn't it back in like? It was a tonic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They sold it in a tonic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all right. There's um, something interesting yeah. about you trying to be the town doctor and intimidate everyone at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an odd, it is an odd, uh, odd yeah. effect. I don't know. Sure. Um, but yeah, no, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order a shot of whiskey and uh, a, a bottle of, a bottle yeah. of cocaine. I'm, and, I'm out. And the bartender's like, yeah, yeah, sure, right this way, sir. And he's pouring you a bottle of bump of whiskey, and you're gonna, there you go, a easy whiskey. Much obliged there, it. mister. Alright. And then he's and then he's filling with the cocaine. Um and then as you're I guess as as this is going on, uh a, a lovely young woman walks into the bar. I believe uh Mr. Fisher's probably had his eye on her for oh, some time. Here she is. <laughs> and she walks in and she walks in and she goes to and she looks she looks distressed. And she goes up to the bartender and says, uh, Mr. Norris. And the bartender says, Ah, yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Parker, Miss Parker, how are you? And um, she goes, Oh, not not good. Um, have you heard from Have you heard from my brother? And he thinks, and he's like, mm, No, can't say I've can't say he's come in the last few weeks. I think we're starting to get a little worried about him. And she goes, Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you hear any news. And she sort of walks off because I mean, you know, the saloon is no place for a lady. Um, Liam, uh, can you do I'm a go follow uh, Yeah, okay. I was going to say, uh, can you do a a power roll for me? I can. Uh, let me find yeah. my dice. Hang on. Uh, sure. There's one. There's the other. So my power is 65 and I got a 98. So not a fumble, but bad. Oh, okay. All right. So basically all, all this means is you instantly fall for this woman. You're like, okay. Oh, she's... That, that, that already, that already is happening. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Oh, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. And I try and run out. Oh, oh, hey. Okay, you run outside. Uh, okay, so you run outside, so she's walking out, and... Yeah, oh, oh sorry, so sorry, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, I don't mean to be any trouble, ma'am, but, uh... I noticed you seem to be... Something... Something bothering you there? Anything I can do to help? Oh, yeah, sir. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how long you've been here, but, um... Yeah, so uh, I just I haven't seen my brother in a few weeks, is all, and I, I, I'm worried about him. I just wanted to know if if anyone in the town has seen him. Uh, his name's uh, Newt Newt Parker. Um, Newt Parker. Hello. Hey. I, I, I haven't seen you around here, sir. What's your name? No, I, I've only been here a, a, a couple days now. Uh, does does your brother live in town? No, he lives up in a mine, uh, up in Sullivan's Gap, uh, a few hours from here uh, on horseback, and he usually comes down every weekend to to cash in his silver. But uh, he hasn't been in been here in a in a couple of weeks, and I was just asking people around town if they if they'd seen him or any of the other boys who work up there come in. So yeah, I'm just I'm just worried about him. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really have, sorry. Have you, have you has anyone has anyone headed up there that you've mentioned this to? 
Well, we were, we were thinking about it. I mean, the first week we thought maybe they're just busy, you know, maybe they, just, they found something like a big bit of silver and they're just taking some time to do it. But yeah, they usually no more than, than two weeks before they, they come down. But it's been nearly three weeks now and we haven't heard from them since. And I, know I was trying to rustle up some of the guys to go maybe maybe have a look, but I haven't had much luck. So I, I guess I, I'm thinking about going up there myself to, to check it out. Well, I... I... I, I don't have much on at the moment, and I have a wagon. I'll be more than happy to take you up. How, how yeah. far away is the mine? Uh, oh, it's it's a uh, about. I, I, that's the thing. I'm not sure where the mine is. I know it's up in Sullivan's Gap somewhere, but I mean, no one really knows where it is. The boys are awfully secretive about where the mine is. And oh well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not familiar with the area, so we'll have to ask some of the locals. But I, I, I'd be happy to help you, man. Okay. Uh, Na- names. Sure. Names. Na- names. Names. Geraldine. Some people call me Jerry. Some people call me Gerald, but I hate it, so don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Hello. Hey, Jerry. Uh, my name's... No, Ger- Geraldine. <laughs> hi, hi, Geraldine. Uh, my name's Hetty. Hetty Parker. Penny. Um, Hetty Parker, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Penny or Hetty? Hetty. Eddie. H- e- H-E double T-I. Oh, Hetty. Uh, oh, Hetty. Hetty. Yeah. Never heard that name before. Yeah. Parker. Yeah. Uh, well, one day, I, one, one day to be Hetty Fisher. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, hang on a second. Uh, I didn't. So, actually, my character didn't actually say that. You, okay. <laughs> not sure. All right. Uh, give me. All right, can you give me a charm roll or a persuade roll? Uh, a charm. Okay. Charm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I got a 51, but my charm's 45. Uh, no, I'll just leave it. Just leave it? Okay. He's like, well, uh, I mean, I, I barely know you, sir. Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable going up into the into Sullivan's Gap. Just, just you. Or maybe if you convince a few of the other guys to, to join us, maybe that might be a little more fruitful. Can I come lumbering out of the... Uh... <laughs> Well, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll no. I'll come back inside and start asking for volunteers. So what we'll do? So so we we'll say. So Hedy Hedy will say. Well, look, I I've got to go pick up some supplies from the general store before I head out. So maybe uh, give me a couple of hours to get ready. And if you've got some guys, then maybe maybe I'll consider. Uh, I, I'd, I'd appreciate the help, but I just don't feel comfortable. Well, where, 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 where can I find you before we head out? Oh, uh, I can meet you here in a few hours if you like. Not a problem, man. I'll I'll go see if we can find any help. Okay, so Hetty Hetty wanders off. Uh, so you guys off to the general store to pick up some gear. Um, and uh, Geraldine, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna walk back into the bar. Go straight back up to the bar, man. What's his name? Mister Norris. Mister no- Buck Norris is his name. Buck Norris. Buck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, uh, uh Mister Norris, sir. See, Mr. I'm, a, Fisher. I'm, I'm 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 a Geraldine's a bit of a gentleman, like. Even though it's very hot and dusty mm. and sweltering, he's always wearing a, a suit and a bowl, a hat. <laughs> so um, he, he's a banker, so he's always trying to yeah, dress yeah. well. So, but even yeah. a, even though it doesn't suit the climate, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, he's like, uh, Mr. Norris, uh, that young lady, she she needs a, a a ride up to a mine at Sullivan's Gap. Do you, would you happen to know where that is? Oh, oh yeah, uh, Sullivan's Gap. That's a a few hours from here by horseback. Or, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking to go looking for the Owens, uh, I mean, we'd really appreciate it if you if you wanted to go there. But I mean, it's pretty dangerous up there. I've heard of rumors of of crazy people walking around and ghosts and goblins and ghouls and all sorts of all sorts of horrible things. Uh, the fellas are all and he, and he looks over and sort of like he looks over and and the bar. The people around the there's like three or four people sort of sitting at the bar, just sort of drinking and, and playing cards, and they're sort of like listening in, like, "Oh yeah, last time, last time, old Monk went up there. He, he got spooked by the by the Spanish, the, Sp- the, the mad Spaniard. Uh, he went and oh, <laughs> the Spanish oh. flu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last time he went up there, he got spooked by the mad Spaniard. Uh, it's it's haunted. Sullivan's Gap's haunted. We don't go up there. Uh, but the Owens boys, man, we don't we don't know where they." We don't know where the mine is, so it would just be sitting around looking for it for the, you know, we don't, we don't know where we're going. So, yeah, we went up there, we'd be lost, and we'd probably get killed by a, a, a ghost or a outlaws or whatever. It's dangerous up there. It's real dangerous. Ooh, you don't want to do it. 
Um, so uh, are, the, are the Owens boys town town locals? Yeah, yeah, they they come down every week. Uh, yeah, the Owens they got a silver mine up in Sullivan's Gap. They come down every week. They they put excess silver in the bank and they spend the rest of it on you know on a nice recreation. Um, have, have any of you gentlemen been up there recently? Oh no, we don't. So we don't go up there. No, no, it's too dangerous. Oh, okay. so don't want to go up there. Um, and would, and would, any, would anyone be able to point it out to me on a map? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so Buck Norris, Buck Norris goes, sure. Uh, he pulls out like a, an old map and he go, he point, looks at it and he goes, well, you see, uh, here's where we are. He points at the map and he goes, yep. and here's, yes. and here's Sullivan's Gap. And he started, there's like a circle, which is like a, it, it says on the map, it's probably like, we're talking maybe like uh, 10K by 10K circle. Uh, you yeah, look at okay. it the scale. Yeah, it's, it's around there somewhere. Uh, you'd have to go up there and find it. Look, tell you what, if you if you are interested, if you're genuinely interested, I mean, I I can give you a little something for your troubles if you like. You know, uh, maybe we'll call it ten dollars. I mean, well, I'm losing. He's one of my best customers. The Owens boys are my best customers, and I hate to hate to know what happened to them. Uh, I, I want to hope they're okay. I am. I'm an artist, gentlemen. So. You, you, I, I'll be happy to take the payment, but only once we return. Well, you are, you are a true gentleman, Mister Fisher. Thank you so much. Um, would anyone like to come with me? <laughs> um, well, now give me... you mention it. <laughs> I, my ears, are, my ears are pricked up. Um, saying, oh, you say there's some boys in trouble now. I, I reckon there's some coin to be made from some boys in trouble. I've been wanting to find out the location. I heard about this Sullivan's Gap man, and I'm very curious to find out where it is because I, I so, feel like if I could find it, I could more directly be able to yeah. extract some so, medicine money out of these boys. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So so Doc Brown, just so because you, you've been here for a month, you've probably heard of the Owens already. So what you know is they own a mine up in Sullivan's Gap. They come down every once a week. Uh, well, I, a few of them come down once a week to, to deposit the, the silver in a bank. Um, you know for a fact, like you, you know, there's you've heard rumors around the town that the mine is quite lucrative. Like it, it's probably generates between fifty to two hundred dollars a day, which is a lot of money back then. A lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a pretty lucrative claim, right? Uh, yeah. So. I guess if you if you're motivated by money, it's not a bad not, not a bad goal to go for. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Them, them Owens boys are always getting into trouble when they come down to the town and they they getting cuts, bruises, and what have yous, and they are always coming down to me for for patching up. And uh, they're they're a good little good little cash flow for me. I need to secure my 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 cash flow from these boys. So it's in my interest to go up and see if they need a hand. I would say. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna volunteer, Mister. What Geraldine? Did you say your name was? Uh, yeah, Geraldine Fisher. Don't oh. call me Jerry. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> what what, what was right. your name there, sir? My name is Ludwig von Braun, but uh, you can just call me Doc Brown if that's easier on your American tongue. Uh, Lud- Ludwig von Braun, it is. <laughs> Very well. I, res- I respect my, the man. My, my, my character hates nicknames. <laughs> okay. Very, very well. Very well. All right. He, he got he got teased a lot as a kid in the orphanage, so he hates nicknames. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. All uh, right. And also a bit of role playing flavor from my perspective. Uh, my guys, my guys, keen to help out on this, not just because of the to help out the lovely lady. Yeah. But um, he he's he's really it he's really like he hates mysteries, so he wants unsolved things to be solved. So there's like a mix of well, this boy's missing. There's probably something to find out here. But also, he's kind of curious to see if this miner also involved in this fraudulent scheme that he's his old <laughs> boss is a part of. Uh, but right. he's also okay. a little bit wary that he doesn't want to get too caught up with the with the Johnson family. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that may or may not be trying to hunt him down. So, yeah. and any anything to get him further further off the beaten path. Yeah, I yeah I did hear word of the uh, the haunting of the of the mine, and uh, that does scare me a little. I'm <laughs> so you, you've heard the rumors of the mad Spaniard uh, 
who just wanders wanders around the hills of Sullivan's Gap. You've heard of them. Uh... That, that, that's all right there, Mr. Von Braun. Uh, every every mystery has an answer, I'll tell you that. Mm, yeah, some things in this world, though. You Except see. who my parents are. I haven't figured that one yet. <laughs> Maybe they're aliens. Have you ever considered that, my son? Or ghouls? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, seen them. I've seen them. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know what a ghoul is, sir, but uh, it, mm. it, I, I don't uh, think so. Maybe we'll find out tonight, my right. my friend, my companion. So okay. I do I do another big like loud uh, announcement to the rest of the bar. It's like so, no one else would like to come with us. Um, give us a persuade roll. I I, I can provide a wagon. And some music on the way. I brought my harmonica. Yeah, okay. Give us a persuade roll. Uh, my persuade's 50, so I have a chance. Eh. Uh, a 41. Is that enough to bring one volunteer? Mm, there, a, there a, are... normal, a normal success. I would probably need a hard success uh, oh, to convince what? anyone because they, they're all terrified of the Mad Spaniard. What would uh, that mean? I'll so, need a 25. Uh, how bad could pushing it here be? <laughs> Let's give it a go. <laughs> um, I'll be like, like, gentlemen, gentlemen, I know there's, I know there's stories and not, and all that, but, uh, yeah, the, the, these Owen boys, uh, they're, they're friends of the town, right? Surely, surely someone must be willing to come help me and what was the name? Miss Parker hey. look for, for yeah. them. Surely someone must be willing. Uh, it's worse. <laughs> That's a fail. Oh, so, uh, so your speech uh, riles up the group uh, in a in a positive way. They're like, yeah, we're here. We're going. Yeah, let's let's go help. Let's go help. We're like, yeah. Yeah, have a good time. Uh, and and so you've run up, the, you've run up the town. Like, yeah, let's go, let's go find out what's happened to him. And then one of them goes, mm, "But first, we drink." And everyone in the town goes, "Bartender is like, drinks on the house." So so now drinks are flowing, and everyone starts. Um, it was like getting rolled up. Like, yeah, we're gonna go, and they're gonna start drinking. And uh, Mr. Fisher, a drink gets shoved in your hand, um, and you like, well, guess I'm. And they're like, you better drink it because we're 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 gonna work together. And you go, okay, get some drinking now. And you drink, and then you know, and then it gets a, and then people sort of start to forget what they're doing, and now it's just a big piss up. And they're like, you know, you know, when people will get really drunk, they're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get twelve men, we're gonna get some guns, we're gonna go up there, and we're gonna figure out what's going on with those old boys. And they start drinking and drinking and drinking, and then the next thing you know, uh, how long is this going on for? <laughs> Oh, a lot longer than you would like. That's for oh, sure. No. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't fumble. Uh, I did fail yeah. push roll, I guess. Yeah, yeah you failed a push roll. Uh, so, you you do... At the end of it, um, a few people are way too drunk to go, and then it's like, you know what, actually, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stay here for a break. Um, uh, Vet, Ludwig do I, van do I, have, do I have any agency in how many drinks I took myself? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, people were just like... Like go and have it, like because the obviously you know Buck is worried about his client's health, so he's like, yeah, yeah you have a free drink on the house, free drink. You want a free drink? Um, how are you resisting a free drink? I'm not resisting. I'll just have one. I'm not gonna. Yeah, you have one, sure. You have one. Yeah, yeah. You just can sort of I can it. I do a like a psychology role in the room to see if this is the barman and that purposely trying to not let anyone help me? Oh uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, my psychology is 55, so I have a chance at a hard success, 21. Oh, okay, hard success. Uh, so on a, hard, on, a, on a regular success, I would say uh, the town have no intention of helping you. Uh, they are just using it as a ruse to get free alcohol um, because the bartender is very much... Uh, Concern, like he's concerned about his clients and he's willing to do anything. So they're like, "Yeah, let's all help." But yeah, bartender, if you, I, I want ten dollars. Can I get some help? And the bartender's like, "I guess so." Uh, on a hard success, I'll give you the fact that at least one of the, at least one of the people, has sized you up and think you are a good mark for to be robbed, and they are just trying to liquor you up so it's easier to rob you later but, on. But not the barman. 
Not the barman. No, the barman. The barman is genuinely concerned about his. Okay, so I'm his, reading uh, that he wants everyone to stay so that he can keep selling alcohol, not that he doesn't well, want people to come help me. The bartender's main goal is to find out what happened to the Owens boys because they yeah. are basically keeping the Silver Saloon afloat with all the money that they're bringing in, right? Yeah. Um, and most of the people in the room who are sitting there are either unemployed miners, they're vagrants or hobos who are going through, and they see this is this is a chance for an easy score. If it goes downhill, he's got money. I can rob him and kill him and take his money. All right. So, uh, so. In, in terms of like when you're talking to these people as you as as this sort of party, this pre this pre drinks, you're sort of talking to people, and that the that's the vibe you're getting is that no one really cares. They just want to. But also to. someone wants to rob me. <laughs> so at least one of them wants to rob you, yeah. They're like, right. you seem like an easy mark. All right. so I, won't, I, I, won't me- I won't mention that to... I'll just... Okay, I will just start calling okay. you Doc Brown. I, but yeah. I won't mention that to Doc Brown, but I'll just say, uh, uh, Mr. Von Braun, uh, I'm ready to head out if you are. Yeah, look, these... <laughs> I, These, are you uh, going to try and sneak away? going to be no help to us. i tell you what, me I, and you, we got the spirit. The rest of them. I, 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 are you going to try and sneak away? Not, not sneak. Not I'm sneak a, away. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm walking right out those right. saloon double doors. Are you walking? Wah. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be like, Mr. Mr. Norris, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if we find the Owens boys. All right. So in the meantime, uh, they're all like drunk and passed out and started fighting because that's usually what happens in the Old West when liquor gets too much. So they, no one's really walking out. Um, so so it's just oh, you. Oh, and I take the map. I've got to take the map. Yeah, take the map. He gives you the map. Um, so as you walk out, um, Hetty's not there. Uh, it's been several hours uh she's probably <laughs> waiting for you and Jesus she's not there so she's just she's just ridden off on a horse so all right how are you guys gonna get the Sullivan's cap? She's gone. she went yeah she's not waiting for you it's a what? disaster she, oh, she was waiting for hours for you you were too busy drinking in the saloon no he had one <laughs> that <is> bullshit <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well we better go catch up to the lovely lady as a player of Call of Cthulhu, I'm aware that this is probably a trap, but um, <laughs> as, as my well, my guys probably just yeah thinking, oh yeah, these guys just don't want to help. All right, yeah. um, uh, uh, Mr. Von Braun, uh, the yeah, barman yeah. said it could be uh, quite a few hours riding yeah, on the yeah. wagon. That's what I've heard do, myself. Do, do you need to go and get anything? I best go fetch. Mm, some rudimentary medical supplies, I feel. Perhaps some tonics and ethers. Uh, I don't know how many nights we'll be away, so... Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go stock up my supplies. My my shack's just down the end of the street there. I'll be but a minute. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go off to my little shack and... Uh, While he does that, I'm gonna go to the general store to get some food and stuff, but also ask the person at the store what happened to Hetty. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So you, you go into the general store and there's, I guess, an, an old man sort of sitting there. Uh, sort of, I guess he's looking at some papers, probably writing out some infant inventory stuff. And he's like, oh, how can I help, sir? He's like, oh, hello there. Uh, uh, Geraldine Fisher. Um, did Miss Parker come in here earlier? Uh, Yeah. Well, oh, Miss Parker, yeah, uh, she was here. She was just buying some supplies. Why? What can? Is that? Did she? Did she have to say where, she, where? Did she say how? Did she say when? Where she was headed? I was supposed to be uh, giving her a ride up to Sullivan's Gap. Well, uh, yeah, she was. Uh, she was heading up there. She sent for Sullivan's Gap. Uh, she uh, she sort of came in, got some stuff, and then she went out. And she came back about a few hours later, all angry like, and uh, she asked if I could, if we could borrow my horse. And I said, "Yeah, sure, anything for you, dear." So she's borrowed my horse, and she she's gone up to Sullivan's Gap. All righty, Th- thank you, sir. And then I'll also buy some. Um, I don't know what sort of food that you'd be able to buy, but like uh, dried meats and some fruit, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever sort of available <laughs> i don't know what food there is but uh yeah so you buy some dried meat some tinned food uh anything else you want to B- bring a bottle of whiskey 
Follow the whiskey, yeah. Yeah, follow the whiskey, uh, Sean. And then, I don't know, uh, I've got clothes, I've got a wagon. In the wagon, then there's probably some basic, like, canvas tent, maybe. Um, Because I was probably aware that I was going to be, like, not on the run, but away from home for a while, so I probably packed, like, a little cooking pot. So I don't know if I need to buy any of that stuff. So I'll just get some food and a bottle of whiskey <laughs> and <laughs> head out and f- and find wherever Doc Brown has gone. What's Doc Brown doing at this point? Uh, so I've returned to my shack. I've got my little doctor's briefcase. Um, I've loaded it up with uh, bandages, antiseptics, uh, some and the Lord in them, you know, the, the classic, the classic doctor stuff. Got my trusty scalpel in my, uh, in a little, I've got like a little, I've got like a little holster for it <laughs> I have attached to my belt. Um, I have to keep that, I keep that thing on me, you know. Um, I've got, uh, I've got a horse, no cart though. I've just, I'm just a roving doctor on a horse with just a briefcase full of supplies. And, uh, yeah, I think I've got the... Oh, and I've, I've put my stethoscope around my neck as well. <laughs> Just so, <laughs> so people know on sight what's going on with this guy. Um, and, yeah, that's uh, I got everything I need, I think. And I'm just going to, you know, I'll grab a few... Grabbed a bit of food out of the, the pantry. And I've, I've got my own bottle of whiskey and, a you know, a vial of, vial of cocaine. <laughs> and I'm ready for anything that comes. Have a little, right. have a little sip, and I'm um, just like, bump. oh, and I just, uh, I go, all right, let's go, and so I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, go out and meet meet Geraldine out on the street. So you've met out on the street, uh, and you've got the wagon set up, and you're ready to head off. Uh, Mr. Mr. Von Braun, are you ready to go there, sir? I certainly am, partner. Now let's. Uh, just, just keep an eye out. I think some of those boys uh, might might want to try and rob us. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't trust as, as boys you, as far as I can throw. As them, you don't say, you uh, as you say this, uh, you see like a, a sort of an older gentleman, with like scraggly beard, like doesn't have a lot of, but like does does just like skin on bone, sort of like hobo cart guy. He's like, oh, he's like, hey, Mister Fisher, wait for me. Uh, He's very drunk. Uh, he's like stumbling and slurring. He's like falling over, and he's like, "We gotta go up and save them old boys." But first, you gotta buy me around. And it's like, it's like, he's like, and then he's sort of here, and he's sort of here, like people going, "What's Vicious leaving without buying around? What's going on here?" <laughs> and they sort of see will start to like to get get it, get it, get in the, the get, get in the wagon, <laughs> doctor. <laughs> Uh, right behind you. I'm actually. I was gonna ride up on a horse, like next to you. Was, oh, you do have a horse. Yeah. I've got, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you get your horse and wagon. You're gonna just run off, basically. Is that what's going uh, on? I'm gonna like. Uh, I think we need to go. <laughs> no. See you later, boys. And then, like, you, as you as you like, sort of run off into the into the um or down down the trail, you sort of hear people. Please up from the river. You see, like, start hearing gunshots. <laughs> Like it's nothing. It's all the distance. Do they want me to help or not? <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the patrons don't give a shit. They seem like yeah. yeah so they don't, they don't. They don't give a shit. All right. So so you've been so you've gone down the trail. You're following the map. What what time of day is it? It's like late afternoon. So, so we may not find this place before night. Okay, so what I'll get you to do... So the trip to Sullivan's Gap is pretty easy. It's on the map. You know where Sullivan's Gap is. It's just that Sullivan's Gap is quite a large... It's got a large trail. Do you have right? an actual map? Uh, I don't, actually. Oh, I didn't oh, give it to yeah. you. Okay. It's not that. So you, fight, you're in Sullivan, yeah, so you, you reach Sullivan's Gap without, without any incident. Uh, now, you see on the ground... Um, several trails like, like several tracks um, horse tracks mule tracks uh, foot foot tracks uh, give me a track roll you can both give me a track roll uh, I don't have any points in tracks <laughs> a 
ten percent. That's my chance. Uh, yeah, what about, what about you? Yeah, yeah. I haven't got any. I haven't got any skill in that. Tra- track or navigate? I'm a doctor, not a cowboy. Definitely uh, track. Definitely track. Yeah, uh, that's a fail for me. That's a fumble for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So, as a fail, so you don't really notice like the the. The tracks can't help you. If you want to give me a navigate to sort of, I guess, speed up the search, you can. Well, I fumbled, so I'm probably going to say no. All right. Well, at this stage, you you are you're both hopelessly lost. Uh, you, <laughs> all, you, you have no way of really knowing where the mine is, um, as as Doc Brown would know. Doctor, do you, Doctor, do you have any idea where they might have gone? Um, <laughs> I'm I'm a bit in the dark here. But uh, hold up, let me see if I can't get my bearings. I mean, I'm 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 a banker. I uh... yeah, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I don't know if we're the best suited to be. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I I hate mysteries, so I like solving them. But I, <laughs> well, I don't know if we're equipped for this. <laughs> the most pressing mystery is that we are lost right now. The mystery of where are we? <laughs> it's, it's... Is it getting dark? It is getting a little dark, so you do. You're pretty much just resorting to, I guess, going from just walking along, sort of trailing along this along Sullivan's Gap, just sort of looking for anything that might resemble a mine. Um, so we know we're at the spot in the map on the map. That's you're in the spot on the map. We're in that 10k radius. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. You're, right, so you're in really Sullivan's lost. Gap. It's not really lost yeah. per se. We're just trying to find no. some hint yeah, 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 where yeah. where. Uh, so it's going to take you some time. Is. Yeah, okay. it's going to take you some time to to properly search the area. As you are searching, uh, yeah. can you guys do a spot hint roll for me? I was just about to ask, can I do that? Because I was going to look for like any sort of glowing fires or lantern type stuff. Yeah. Oh, nothing yet. It's still, we both it's still do spot enough. Hidden? Yeah, you go spot hint. All right. Well, that's a um, that's a hard success, extreme success for me actually. Well, I failed, so I'll I'll let your extreme success do the work. <laughs> so on a on a on a regular success, what I will say is, as you are walking along the trail, uh, or I guess sort of meandering along the trail uh, along Sullivan's Gap, because it's it's sort of like a chasm. It's it's pretty easy to navigate through, right? It's just a long trip. Uh, you spot on the on the top of the cliff. Well, it looks to be an old Spanish conquistador. <laughs> Just sort of what? looking like over the cliff. Like a or a live one? You're not sure. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks it looks alive. It's moving. Like, then it's moving around. An old Spanish conquistador. And he's, he's just sort of, like, looking over the cliffs, sort of surveying the scene. Um, well, well, I haven't seen it. So. Jerry, you see this? What, look at that. Look at that. What's that? What's that, Doctor? Look at, look at it on the ridge. I'm a max in there. <laughs> uh, on the ridge there. On the ridge. Is is that is that a person? Looks looks like it, doesn't it? Look at his armor. He's shining. He looks like a um. I I I think I'll do like an education tour to see if I know what Spanish conquistadors are. No. Maybe. <laughs> so I'll do education. Yeah, I passed. So I'll be like, oh, uh, is that like Spanish armor? Oh, I think you might be right there. It looks like one you're, of them. You're you're European. What do you know? Yeah, it looks like <laughs> one of them conquistadors from a long time ago. Oh, I, I've heard about I've heard about them in in books, but. Yeah. What's 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 a conquistador doing in Texas? <laughs> New Mexico, I think, wasn't it? I don't know. Don't I, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so a regular success, you would have spotted this person. On an extreme success, I will tell you that you notice him zero in on something, and you just hear him go ah, and then sort of run off, and in the distance away you from see, us towards us? yeah, away, away, away from you. Um, okay. sort of going further along the trail uh, and that's and you sort of uh, if you go further up the trail uh, you see a horse huh. uh, just chilling out uh, its owner's not anywhere nearby um, but if you want to go looking for the owner you can up to you 
Does the horse seem fine? You've recognized this horse, actually. Ludwig, do me, give me a intelligence roll, see if you know, recognize the okay. horse, because you might All recognize right. it. Uh, 66, that's a pass. All right, yeah, you recognize that's the, that is the shopkeeper's horse, the old shopkeeper's horse. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hetty, where is she? Wait, is Hetty the shopkeeper? No, but she took the horse. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. I forgot that little detail. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So, hey, I think this here is uh, the shopkeeper's horse. I think. It, 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 you, oh, you know. well, the, sh- the, 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 I can't remember his name, but he said that Miss Parker took it. Oh, the lovely so lady. She must, she must be around here somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know if my character would. It's curious, but I don't know if my character would necessarily, like, go after the Spanish guy. I definitely wouldn't. I'm scared of uh, ghouls and ghosts. <laughs> like, it's definitely weird, but I don't know if I'd like directly go. Oh, yep, that's my next priority. Oh, like, uh, yeah. To be cool. honest, I don't know if I f- would clock it as a ghost. I might just think it's a weird guy in armor. <laughs> was there anything? Yeah, was there anything no. ethereal about it, or was it just like? It looks like a person. It's it's just, it looks like a guy like a wearing stupid like a armor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just think weirder. I, I, yeah. I think I would take a note of where you saw him, but I don't yeah. think going after him's the priority. It's no. For, yeah. for me, I think the priority is still looking around to see if we can find this mine. A lady might be in trouble. I feel like we should. But if her. we can't find the mine, then yeah, I'd probably go. He's the only lead. But for now, I think yeah. I'll just keep looking for the mine. Yeah. So, well, so I think we should try and find Hetty. I'm going to call out for her. Hetty. <laughs> Hetty. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah. Why didn't I think yeah. of that? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'll just do, I'll give Hetty a listen roll to see if she hears you. Hetty! <laughs> uh, she does not hear you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, but you're well, suggesting she's nearby. <laughs> oh, yeah. She'd have to be nearby. If the horse yeah. is if the horse is there, like, yeah. she probably hasn't gone far. Yeah. Uh, um... What time, is it? what time is, is it? Is, is, is there still some light? There's plenty of light. There's, plenty, there's enough light, right. yeah. Uh, okay. th- Mr. Von Brown, how about you go walk, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred meters that way, and I'll walk a couple hundred meters this way. Okay. We'll keep, we'll keep inside of each other. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, and, just... But, and we'll just have a look around a bit. Yeah. What's the terrain, what's the terrain like in this area? Is it like kind of wooded or it's, is it like fairly it's, rocky, open? It's, very rocky. It's not open. It's sort of like almost like a cliff. You're in a valley. Okay. And sort of oh. yeah. And yeah. there's sort of so places there like where lots the of rocks and stuff. Lots of rocks. Lots of yeah. like small shrubs. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, then I'd suggest we do like a little search, but stay within. Yeah, we can see each sight other, slash yeah. hearing distance of each other. Yeah. All yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, both of you give me luck rolls. Okay. Aha, this is where my luck will <laughs> yeah. help. Geraldine's time to shine. Um, that is a fail for me. I got a normal success. Okay, uh, so uh, Gerald, Geraldine, uh, you're looking around the rocks on, I guess, the left side of the um, of the canyon, and mm. you spot Hetty. Hetty's sort of hunched over, looking at what appears to be like a, Tough of fur on the ground. <laughs> it's going to be a coyote, <laughs> a bear, and like she looks fine. Um, she's just sort of like studying something. What do you want to do? Uh, do I see her or the furry thing first? You see her first, and you so she she's like hunched over looking at something, and I guess your eyes get drawn. Well, to what she's as, looking as at. I walk over, I'll I'll just her, I'll just say. Uh, uh, Miss Parker, and see if she responds to me that way. Um, okay, sure. So, uh, Mr. Fisher, doing out here? I thought you were drinking with those other boys in the at the bar. Uh, no, no. I, 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 I wanted to come out here and search the old boys with you, but you left. Oh, that's, of course I left. You took, you took you. I was waiting out there for hours, and you didn't show, and I saw the hoot and holler at the bar. I thought you guys must have been having a fracas or something. So I've just... No one wanted to help me, so I've gone up here myself. I, I think you'd be aware of what some of those boys are like. If you if you don't play along, they can get a bit dangerous, you know? Uh, well aware of that. Now, what do you make of this? And she sort of uh, 
I was like, why are you here? Why do you make it this? And she sort of points you in the direction. And, and, what I, and you I look find, at the corpse of Cthulhu on the ground. What you find is a, like, it appears to be like a, a bison or a buffalo. Oh. Uh, mm. And it has been, it's a dead. It's very dead. In fact, it's it's just sort of had its chest sort of rip, rip and tear open. Hmm. Like a oh. big animal has just hoed into this, into this beast. Damn. Uh, and give me a sanity roll, please. How how, how gross out of ten is this? <laughs> Look, I mean, you're. If it was uh, Van Braun, he's a doctor. He's probably seen worse. You is it, go- as is it gory or is it just like it's pretty gory? There's blood. Damn. There's a lot of blood, and it, like his intestines uh, everywhere. I, hard hard success on sanity. It doesn't bother you at all. You're like, oh, right. it's just a. Just I'll a be like, oh, right. Miss Park, Miss Parker, stand back from there, uh, Mister Von Braun, and I just yell out, Mr. Yeah, Braun. oh, oh, over this way, sir. Oh, right away. All right. Uh, Walk over. I, I found Miss Parker here. What do you know about buffalo or bison? Oh, good eating. Uh, now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I don't <laughs> mind cooking a bit, but I, I'm more yeah. meant in the. Uh, uh, biological sense. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. I, I come I come across it. And I see the, I see the car. I'm like, ah, well, all right. I'm gonna um, uh, let's see if I can make heads or tails of what's happened to this here beast. I'm gonna roll, I guess, m- m- medicine. Is there any like to see if I can tell? Like, do a little little autopsy on it. See if I can see all right. what what's 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 done it in. Okay, shouldn't fail this. That is a hard success. Okay. Uh, so, d- on d- a hard does, success... Does Doc Brown have to do a sanity? No, he doesn't. He's probably... You've probably, no, you've probably seen worse. Um, you've seen corpses before. You're a doctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah. So, um, yeah, so... You, well, upon looking at this, you do a little autopsy. You notice that um, the jugular has been ripped. Um, it appears to have been like you, you see bite marks around the jugular. It's been that's probably what's done it in. And then after that, uh, you sort of see, um, I guess, like you sort of like the the inter- the intestines have sort of been ripped out. And mm. he's bits of flesh missing, and you think it's probably yeah. been half eaten been, by something. Been eaten, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, seems um, like if pretty... you want to give me a, a natural world roll, oh, you want to give me a natural world, 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 world roll? Yeah, yeah. yeah Can okay. I do one too. I'll do one. Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, you go for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ma- for me, this is more like: Do I know what range of animals are in the area that could do yeah. this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. I fumbled. <laughs> I think I've I passed anything yet. You <laughs> passed the sanity. Yeah, yeah, the sanity yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you fumbled. Um, yeah. How did you go, Doc Brown? I think a kookaburra did this. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong damn continent, my friend. Um, I also failed that role. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't so, know what kind of it. I know it's been. I can tell you it's had its neck ripped out and it's been a bit eaten, but uh, I don't know what right. could have done it. So, uh, we'll deal with the fumble in a second. So you guys uh, are discussing and, and Hetty says, like, I, I don't know what caused this thing. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, fig- I'm trying to figure out what caused this, this horrible thing to happen to such a, a beautiful creature. Uh, would you boys happen to know anything? And then as, I guess, uh, Geraldine, as a, in an attempt to impress... Uh, Miss Parker, uh, with your skills, you sort of really try and lean in close to sort of figure out what uh, what sort of animal could have done this or, or thing could have done this to this bison. And then you stumble, you trip over a rock, and you fall face first into the open wound of the bison. This has been the Fumbled Anthology. 
New episodes are released every Sunday. And for more information, please check out our website, fumbledanthology.com, or seek us out on the social media of your choice. See you next week.